Hello everyone, my name is Zin and welcome to Kronos TV. This is episode 2 of Undertale. When we last left off, we found out we're dead inside. So, let's do the thing. Hello, goat mother. I'm all ready, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about a book I am reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. I have to do something. Stay here. No, come back, goat mom. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? At head of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try and stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove yourself to me. Or prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Okay. I know what to do now. Trust me, this is literally what I have to do. At least that's what I was told, anyways. Oh. There we go. Attack or run away. I'm not attacking. Takes a deep breath. I'm not fighting. I wish I had read what that said. Fair enough. Go away. <laughs> Magical attack. It is a bit sad, but...
please, you're upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. And no, we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. Well, I understand. You would just be unhappy, trapped down here. The rooms are very small. I once... Well, oh, small. Once you, you get used to them. That messed with my head a little bit. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. I truly wish to leave the ruins. I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. I love you too, little mom. Goodbye, my child. Bye, Toriel. We still have a nice house. It's really pretty. Getting different, uh... Shades of purple. Here we go. Oh, hi, Flowey. Clever. Very clever. You think you really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So, you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hey, hey. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die, until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? Let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little... Monarch, my plan isn't for decide. This is so much more interesting. I do not like you, my stupid flower friend. Not really my friend. And that was the tutorial. <laughs> Thank you, Toby Fox, for your wonderful, wonderful games. There we go. We are in the feud. Is that stick? Okay. I... Mm. I am not interested in anything you are selling. Don't you know how to greet anyone? Turn around and shake my hand. <sighs> I don't know if I can do a sand voice. I can try to. Oh, whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? 
That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anyone. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through the skate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Really, Papyrus. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Wow. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the royal guard! People will ask to be my friend! I will bathe in sh a shower of kisses every morning! Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit and. How do you say that word? Boondoggle? You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Sans! Come on. You're smiling. I am and I hate it! <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Well, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. I... I will attend to my puzzles! As for you... Er, as for your work, put a little more backbone into it! <laughs> oh god, I'm so sorry for that laugh. That actually hurt my throat a little bit. Uh, that's, uh, okay. What up? You gotta get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Thanks. Actually, hey. Hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother has been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before. And seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry. He's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks, man. I'll be up ahead. You're going... It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Is that a hot dog stand? Ooh, save point. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination? Ooh, what's this? Use the box? Sure. Oh, it's, um, I can save stuff. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Head to that. Snowdrake flutters forth. Okay. Make a bad ice one. I've heard that one. It smells like a wet pillow. You laugh at something before it says anything funny. I'm sorry. Maybe I should check it first. Realize it's only this pun and it's freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, act 
Chuck, Snow Drake, it, uh, teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Okay, my fave ice aerials, Frosty. Ha, 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 ha. See? Dad was wrong! <laughs> oh no! Oh god. Mercy is fair. <laughs> it's not a phase, Dad! Oh my god, that was fun. Uh... Oh, it's a fishing rod. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Sure. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. <laughs> oh, that's, that's cold! <laughs> oh, I made a pun. Hey! So, as I was saying about Undyne. Voice got really high right then. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh! Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! <clears throat> his, his... Oh, I can't do the, the nasally voice anymore. I think I, just, I think it broke my voice. Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans. I finally did it! I'm done! Well, I'm gonna... I'll be so popular! I'm not repeating that one. <clears throat> Human, you shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then... Then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. I can't. I'm not doing the laugh again. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an ice socket out for you. God, that's so hard to do. Papyrus' voice. Oh, hello. Ice cap struts into view. Hello, ice cap. We're going to check you. Tech, this team wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Good question. You, your head looks so naked. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. It's snowing tantrum. Problem? My hat's too loud for me to hear you. Ow! Steal it? You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat. It's not weakened enough. Oh. Help fashion police. Oh. Ow. Stop it. Ice Cap makes sure his hat is still there. Um. Compliment? My hat's too loud for you. I don't know what to do. Ignore? You managed to. Right away. It looks annoyed. Oh, so I just have to ignore you. Okay, cool. Checking if you're looking at its hat. You want to ignore it again? You continue not looking at its hat. Seems confusing. Fine. I don't care. Ah. Fuck. I wasn't paying attention to my HP. Uh, yeah, I know, we can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta get used to paying attention to the freaking... There we go, nice cap. Yep, it's you again. Uh, check.
What's that? There's some information on this cardboard box. You observed the well-crafted sentry station! Who could have built this? You ponder. I wonder... Huh? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Uh, doing a papyrus' this voice is hard. Hello. Absolutely. No movie. Uh, <clears throat> did something or was it my imagination? I can only see living things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, doggo. Um, doggo, check. Doggo, attack 13, defense 7. Easily excited by movement hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. Alright. <laughs> what a pet 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 pup <laughs> oh my god I gotta do that again you pet doggo where is that coming from this is adorable I fucking love this game I think that is I think that is it moving I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Hi, dude. Can I, like... No. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Hmm. Hi, Sans. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move, and it won't hurt you. Here, here's an easy way to keep in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about a blue stop sign. That's not simple. Oh. Lesser dog? Lesser dog. Wields a stone da dogger, a stone dogger made of bomber granite. No, stay away. Ouchies. Dog, can you look at your pet? Barely lift your hand, and Master Dog got excited. How do you No! Master Dog is barking excitedly. Oh, we'll just. I want to see what that says. North, ice, south, ice, west, ice, east, Snowden, and ice. <laughs> like, you're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses! Excuses! Oh, the human arrives! <clears throat> In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sans! What did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh! Okay. Hold this, please. Try now. Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily. Too easily. 
However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. I can't, I'm not doing the laugh. <laughs> I want to, but I can't do the laugh. Yay, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see the weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Sure is, Sam. What are you doing, my guy? I don't understand why we aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh! The customer. Uh, hello, would you like some ice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now it's just 15G. Sure, I have 105. Well, thank you, guy. Cool, dude. Oh. Oh, no. No. Dang it. Aw. I remember this part. It's a snowball. Alright. Looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Well, I'll take your word for it. Human! I hope you're ready for. Sans, where's the puzzle? It's, it's right there on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Unless your kids were search. Thing. Whoops. I really should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily, easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude? That ECT word scramble? That's for baby balloons. Unbelievable. Human! Solve this dispute. Which is harder, jumble or crossword? Jumble. Ha! Yes! Humans must be very intelligent. If they also find Junior Jumble so difficult... I'm not doing the voice. Sorry for the virus. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing that laugh. Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumped by trying to solve the horoscope. My guys. Oh, it's a safe station. Uh, knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. It's a note from Polyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti! Little did you know this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you! You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing! Thoroughly japed again by the great papyrus! I'm not doing the voice. Or I'm not doing the laugh. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold. It's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. <laughs> All of a sudden, say spaghetti. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> It's great. I didn't know that. I did. That's kind of cute. Sign. Warning. Dog marriage. A douche marriage. Oh, what up? Jerry. <laughs> I'm fine. That one caught me off guard. Jerry. Well, we know what to do for him. So Jerry, uh, 30 defense, everyone knows Jerry. Makes attack, two seconds longer. Jerry tells everyone he has to go to the bathroom. 
Oh, well. Skeps had looks annoyed. Oh, you guys suck at this. I think we all know a Jerry, don't we? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay. Awkward. I have a feeling Jerry talks like LSP. Jerry sneezes as well. Bring his nose. Oh, that's gross, Jerry. Oh, ugh. Down this way. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's a map. Okay. So, what, right here? There's a switch hidden in the snow. What'd that do? Stuck now. Okay. Oh, that's what it is. Uh, hello. Who's that smell here? Wait, I smell. If you smell, identify your smell. Okay. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. Cockney for that, huh? Doggy. Or Doji. Oh. Doge Amy. Doge Risa. Um, okay. Check. Husband of Doge Risa. I was wondering what he spells. Don't touch my hot dog. He means me. Oh, well, that didn't work. Okay. Um, reset. It was stalled just as weird as before. Okay. Okay, what do I do though? Sick. Uh, right. Roll around in the dirt in the snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Don't understand. Where do I go? I don't know what to do for that one. What am I supposed to do for that one? There's like no way to get out of it. Not now, Jerry. Ice cap. I mean, 
I know what to do sort of now. No, 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 no. <clears throat> okay, but like, what do I do? What do I do? Like, actually... One more time. <sighs> Guys, please. Gross, Jerry. I hit the wrong one. Dang it. Stop. Okay. It's not great that you went for the last button. So weird, puppy. Damn it! Almost had it. No, I can't. What, do I pet them? Oh. 
Oh. I gotta pet the other one. There we go. That one was tricky. That one's really, 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 really tricky. I am actually going to go back to this previous screen and save. Again. Just so I don't have to go through that again. But the, 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 Jerry, 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 Jerry. Oh my God. Oh man, this mod is freaking out right now. Um, laugh, you laugh at stuff, it's fun. Oh. Okay. Please get this cool joke. Mercy spare. Jerry! I guess that Jerry should be the, the return of Jerry. It's annoyed. Why is it cold? Does anyone care? Uh, I know the perfect voice for him, but I can't do it. Like, I, I, I physically cannot do it. Okay. I'm going to press the switch. Oh, okay. What? How did... Oh, I can't do his voice anymore. Let's see. How did you explain my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? How did you kill the pirates with all the spaghetti? Ate it. Really? Wow, no one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. If you say so. I mean, I, I'm telling you, I love pasta. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. You're a very nice man. Too bad. Human! How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, or not, human, I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle for yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Turn that reaction to the note, then press the switch. Whoops, wrong switch. This one's actually kind of tricky. Oh, I fucked up. I 
Almost had it, though. Is that a triangle? Oh, I fucked up. Okay. Um. How do I do this? Um, I can't loop on myself, but I have to go that way. I don't know if that was the actual solution, but it worked. Wow! You solved it! And you did it! <clears throat> and you did it without my help! Incredible! I'm impressed! You must care about puzzles like I do! Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then! It might even be too easy for you! I can't do your voice. I, I, I can do your voice, I can't do your laugh. Hi, hey, Sans. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help, which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. You are something else, man. What is this? Hey! It's the human! You're going... You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Alphys! Or Al Alphys? You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Every color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you! Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you! Purple tiles are slippery, you will slide to the next tile! However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like! Purple and finally, pink tiles, they do not do anything. Step on them all you like. Oh, how was that? Understand? Understand the explanation. No. Okay, I guess I'll repeat myself. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I didn't know he'd actually repeat himself. Okay. What was the one that I skipped? Brown tiles aren't... Brown, there are no brown tiles. Purple tiles smell like... Why don't the yellow ones smell lemony? Um, wait. Did I mix up the green and blue? The blue ones are the water ones. The pink tiles... I, I don't remember... Uh, wait. Those ones don't do anything. Okay. Do you understand better now? Even less. <laughs> okay, you know what? How about you just do this puzzle on your own? I'll leave the instructions. Just read them. Then when you understand it, you can throw the switch and do it at your own pace. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> It's a legible chicken scratch. I need to find a save station. Hey! A save station! <laughs> Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Alright. 
guys unfortunately that is all the time that i have today for undertale but i am loving this game it is so good and it's so cute um if you guys like my content, make sure to follow me on Twitch and Twitter to know when I go live. I also have a YouTube page where I archive most of my streams, so feel, feel free to subscribe to that. Um, I try to stream multiple times a week. Um, if I can't manage that, then multiple times a day so that, that you guys have a variety of content to watch. Um, and This is something that I like really, really enjoy doing, and I want to do it like a full-time job because I love making people smile. So if you can just spread the love you know share the channel um that'd be cool so uh, but until next time you guys stay awesome and i hope you have a wonderful night